Today, for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about measuring and drawing angles. We're going to be building on our previous understanding of angles, and we're going to introduce the use of a protractor to measure and draw these angles. But before we get started, let's talk again about our angles here. An angle is formed by two rays, lines, or line segments that meet at a common point. And this common point is called a vertex, okay? And now let's take a look at a protractor, and this is what we're going to use to measure and draw our angles, okay? You'll notice here there is an outer scale and there is an inner scale. This is also, this line here is the zero edge, okay? And then we have our center mark and it's a little hole there in the protractor. We're going to kind of use that to help us, okay? So let's go ahead and get started and we're going to measure this angle right here, okay? Now again, there are our two rays and there is our vertex. So we're gonna use our protractor here and we're gonna line that zero edge up with one of our rays. It could be either one, but this time I'm just going to line it up here with this one. And I'm also gonna line up the vertex with my center mark, okay? So as I follow this line, I see that it hits right here at either 56 or it hits at 124, okay? So as I pull my protractor away, well, I know it can't have the angle of 124 because this is an acute angle, so it has to be less than 90 degrees. So I know that the angle of, the measure of this angle is going to be 56, and I'm gonna draw a little circle up there, and that's 56 degrees, okay? Let's try our second angle here. And this one I know is an obtuse angle, so I know I'm gonna be looking for that number on the outer edge here that is greater than 90 degrees. So again, I could start um, by lining up my zero edge by either ray, but I'm gonna start here in this one on the left, and I'm gonna line it up with my zero edge, and then my center mark, I'm gonna line it up with the vertex. And then I look over here and it looks like it's right at 140. So this angle is 140 degrees, okay? So now we're going to draw some angles, okay? So I'm looking at 40 degrees. So I know this is gonna be an acute angle. It's gonna be less than 90 degrees. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to draw a ray. Okay, got my ray here. Okay, and I'm going to line up that center mark with my vertex and line up um, my ray with my zero edge. And then I'm going to find that 40 degrees here on the inner mark here. And so I made a dot there. And now I'm going to connect my vertex with with my um, with the dot that I made. And so now I know that this angle is 40 degrees, okay? So for our last angle here, we're gonna measure one that is 120. So again, I know that 120 is gonna be greater than 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna start by drawing a straight line here, which is then gonna be made into a ray, okay? So I'm gonna line up my ray with my zero edge and then line up my dot here um, with my center mark and then I'm going to look over here for the 120 and just put a dot above 120 okay so as I pull my protractor away I'm going to connect my soon-to-be vertex here with my dot that I have created put my arrows on here and then I know that this is measures at 120 degrees so as you begin to use protractors and measure and draw angles, make sure that your center mark of your protractor, okay, lines up with your vertex of your angle, okay, and make sure that that zero edge lines up with one of the rays. So that's my zero edge, and I'm going to be sure that I'm lining it up with one of my rays, okay. Also, as you're measuring, be careful when determining whether to use the inner or the outer scale of your protractor.